everyone, Tracy here. Today I thought I'd share with you a quick flip through in my Fobonichi for the month of April. Now before I go through the pages, let me share with you all of my goals. Now the first goal is to get my 10,000 steps. And as you can see by all these red hearts that I achieved them most of the days. These two days here I didn't. And some of them I've, I think I got close to 15 or 20,000 steps. So this is a good month for me. I was away on a trip and I even got my steps in and these were a lot of driving days and what I do when I go away on a trip is if they don't have a treadmill to get my steps in then I just walk around the hotel or I do laps on each floor of the hotel and uh, that's a good way of getting your steps in when you're on a trip. Um, one can of coke on the weekend and as you can see I did have one can of coke on the weekend but I kind of slipped up over here and had two for the fact that um, this was a scrap for autism. This was a, a crop I was at and I only did have one coke. I brought only one with me but I kind of spilled spilled um, the end of my pop on my table. I know that is like the biggest biggest crop no-no is to have open pop on the table because it can be spilled and I did it but luckily it was confined to just my area so sadly though my my goodie bag got soaked so whatever paper was in there was I couldn't use it but so the next day I made up for it and I had one of those really tiny tiny miniature cokes here one of those cans they were good it was good I really like my pop so the next one my next goal is to read one book per month and I did start one um, the month before but I finished it in April so I added it to April's goals and then make one smash book page per month well I never did do that but I made up for it for making six layouts in um, six scrapbook layouts in April so I made up for the smash book page I think and then another goal of mine is to have or go to a 12 hour crop which I did I went it was scrap for autism so I went to that and that was 12 hours this is going to change this goal in the summer because we're usually at our cottage so I won't be hosting any crops for any of the summer months and then the last one is to organize an area in my home and if I did organize an area in my home it um, wasn't that noticeable because I don't remember doing it so <laughs> I probably never did it I had mentioned in my other videos that I follow a Fobonichi page on Facebook well now there's two Fobonichi pages on Facebook and I follow both of them and Paula I had mentioned in my other video as well she does a prompt every Sunday and I love Paula's prompts because not only they do they help me stir up a memory but they also help me elaborate on a certain topic that she's asking about so I not always do her prompts on a Sunday I usually do them on a day where nothing much has happened and then I have lots of more writing spaces well not only does Paula have a prompt but Felicia um, she's the one that started up her new group she does a question every day which I thought was fun to do as well so not only do I write about my day but I also try to answer Felicia's questions on there because it's it's fun it's fun to look back on I'm sure how many years from now to see what I was doing at the time so one of Felicia's prompts was a favorite thing to wear so I'll, I'll read the prompts I never did all of hers maybe they didn't apply to me or I had too much writing that day so I didn't do all of Felicia's but I did a, most of them so this one on the first was a favorite thing to wear and I just wrote that right now my favorite thing actually for I don't know how many years my favorite thing to wear at home is usually my yoga pants and a long sleeve shirt and when I go out I usually put on my leggings and my higher boots and a nice blouse with my long my long jacket or my long coat so that was the question I guess those are more questions than prompts so that was for that day and then on this day it was the last place I shopped which was Superstore to get a turkey because we were having a family a family meal and I wanted a turkey for Easter so here is the book that I read it's called Elsewhere. It's for young readers and my daughter, my youngest daughter, suggested I read it. So I finished it this day and then I asked my daughter how she liked it since she suggested it to me and she's like, oh mom, I never read it. So I was like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> so I, th I thought that was funny. It's like, oh, well, I guess I can't have a discussion with you about the book since you haven't read it. I just think usually you read a book and then you suggest to somebody else, oh, you should read this book. No, not her. She just told me to read it. And of course I did. And then here, these two here are just stamped images, Gorgeous Girl and... I think that's Saturated Canary, and I just colored these up with my um, colored pencils and my Gamsol. And then these little stickers I've had in my stash for eons, and you've seen them in past videos, and I just want to use them up, because I know I won't be using them in a scrapbooking page, so I just think she's cute. And then these days, these are stickers I've had in my sticker binder, which I'm trying to go through and either use or get rid of, but I really like them, and I've liked them for a long time, but I haven't used them on anything. So I thought, you know what? If I put them in here, I'll be able to see them more often when I flip through it, as opposed to just having them in my sticker binder. I might as well use them. So that's why those are there. And this day was the day we had our turkey. So this one says our family. So I thought this one was more than fitting for this day. And one of the questions were, one thing I do every day, and everything... Every single day, I check my emails and I go on Facebook every day. I'm probably too many times a day because I think it's just sucking too much of my time up. And I also write on my blog every day. And that's about it. So mostly computer stuff, as you notice. And then this is the day that we had our dinner. And I had all my family over. And it says, who lives in our house? That was that question. I just wrote everybody that lives in our home. And then this day I didn't do a prompt. This is Sunday and I didn't do Paula's prompt because I was writing about my poor husband's Fitbit died and uh, <laughs> he was doing pretty good too. So he had to get a new one of those. And just saying how much I'm missing not watching The Walking Dead every Sunday. And then, um, yeah, so I, that was a picture. And when I print up a picture, I just do it on regular photocopy paper. So um, it's, not, it's not photo paper or anything. This is another sticker that I've had in my stash for ever. So the internet went out on this day. So this day I went and I picked up a new router slash modem. And my daughter Heather and I, we installed everything ourselves with, with the help of the guy on, on the tech guy on the phone. And it was funny because I had him on speakerphone. I asked him if I can have him on speakerphone. And when Heather and I were done, that we all had it hooked up. We high-fived each other and, the, and we're like, yay, right on, we did it. And the guy just thought that was funny. <laughs> so we gave him a chuckle that day. Oh, this is my morning routine and what I had for breakfast. And every morning I have the same thing. I usually go months and months and months with eating the exact same thing for breakfast and this month it's like oatmeal and and brown sugar I have that I don't know how many months I've had that probably all winter and then in the summer I'll probably just have like some kind of cereal or something but it's oatmeal right now and my routine is like I check my emails and everything on my laptop in the morning and then I clean the house and then um, I try and do something creative every day and then this one two more stickers they're the same uh, they came from the same one as these. Is it Mary Inglebright? I think they're Mary Inglebright stickers that I've had forever. And this was favorite meal. And I don't remember if this was Paula's or Felicia's. Not that it matters. But I just wrote that I don't really have a favorite meal. I'm very, I'm a very picky eater. So um, I don't really try too many new things. But um, Whenever we go to a restaurant, I order the exact same thing. Like when my husband and I go away on a trip, when we go to Red Lobster, I always order the seafood trio with, um, what's that, pina colada sauce. Always. It never fails. I order the same thing. Wherever we go, I have the same foods I order all the time. And then this day here, it had um, our, my nighttime routine, which is my husband and I watch a movie or else we go on the laptop or our iPads before we get ready for bed. That's just something my husband and I do at 9 o'clock at night. And then favorite spot in the house. I can't remember. Maybe this was supposed to be on a different spot. I don't know. But um, I have many favorite spots in my house. But usually it's my living room because that's where my whole family hangs out. I do love my craft room. But um, I bring a lot of my crafts up into the living room. So that kind of... Um, is another reason why I like the living room. I can do crafts in there as well. In these two days, I just stamped um, some background stamps. Now, I don't know, I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I was 
so behind this month was awful so I had to go back and write stuff in here like a week or so later and a lot of my art journaling blocks or my art blocks were blank so I had to go through so like this one here I just stamped the background I didn't like it so um, I put a sticker on there because my husband and I went away um, on our, that's the our getaway we went on the Friday so I just did that I was just like throwing stuff in here and I don't like to feel like I'm behind so I might do something a little bit different next month we'll see so this one is the my favorite writing instrument and I just like to write with bold nibs on my pens because I have very big primary writing and um, I like a wide or a bold nib and I like lots of the lines to be wider apart like this this is really tiny printing for me so just to give you an idea this is pretty tiny for me even though it looks really big so yeah this is the day that my husband and I left to go on our little trip we went to Duluth so that's why I have an American flag there because we crossed the border into the states and look we had the shrimp trio so <laughs> went to Red Lobster that day and then Saturday we were still on our trip and look even though I was away I got 12,000 steps so pretty good but um, I don't know if I mentioned when we go away on a trip I usually to get my steps I usually walk the hallways I'll walk each level of the hotel um, hallway and I've done that for many years because I used to wear a pedometer now I have the Fitbit which is a pedometer but I used to always have a pedometer with me because I am a little obsessive about certain things. So this again, we were still on our trip and this is when we got home. But even though I spent so much time traveling, because it's quite a, quite a long drive, I still got like um, over 8,000 steps. And I was probably mad at myself because I never forced myself to get 2,000 more steps. And um, this day here, actually, we drove to Minneapolis, and I went to Blix, and yeah, that was a fun day. Shopping. So much fun shopping. Monday and Tuesday. Um, this was just a, a, doctor, a whole bunch of doctor's visits, and I found out that my two specialists are retiring. And one of my specialists I've been with for like 30 years. I've been with him since I was like 18 or 19, and... Uh, He's retiring too, so good for them, bad for me, because I'll have to find another doctor's, which isn't always easy. So this one here, this is one of Paula's prompts, I'm pretty sure, and it's passions. And I just wrote that I have many passions. I love to create, I enjoy scrapbooking, card making, art journaling, journaling, writing, photography, decorating, woodworking, knitting, and the list goes on. One thing that all of these have in common is being creative and making things. To me, being creative isn't just a hobby or a way to pass the time. It is part of who I am. I create every day. I may not make something every day, but I plan or get ideas every single day. I have always said I need to live twice my life in order to create half of my ideas, which is true. I have so many ideas. I wish I had that time. Look at this day. 16,000 steps. It's like squirrel. So anyway, these ones here... These were the ones I just stuck some stickers on because honestly, I was so far behind. It's like, I'm never going to get a video up. I'm never going to start my new month because I, I have trouble starting a new month if my old month isn't finished yet. So I just stuck those on there and said, be done with it. So this one here, what plants do I have and do I have a green thumb? Now I used to have a green thumb. I had beautiful plants and they grew so beautiful and luscious and I used to fertilize them every second week. Yeah, not no more. Everything, few, many years ago, everything was perfect in my life and now I don't know what happened the, the last five years, but everything's been going downhill slowly. So I'm starting to pick it all up. But anyway, that's kind of off topic of uh, my plants. But I used to tease my mom saying that she had a black thumb because she killed all the plants. And I said, if we had fake plants, she'd probably kill those too. Well, it looks like I'm following in her footsteps. So this one here is my favorite dessert. And I don't know actually if I have a favorite of anything in my life. So I have many desserts that I love, but I don't have a favorite. But um, blueberry cheesecake, that's, everybody loves that. I'm really good at making blueberry cheesecake. Oh, just thinking of it, I want to go make one. And my banana cream pies are pretty awesome too. 
And then I just wrote here that when I was pregnant with Christy, my youngest, I would make a um, banana cream pie, no kidding, at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and I would eat like half the pie myself and I was greedy with it like it was like you want a piece okay you can have one piece and here I made a whole pie like I should have been like 400 pounds after um I had her like seriously banana cream pie is pretty good cheesecake yeah I have a lot of favorite desserts that's one thing I'm not too picky on is desserts I guess no prompts on this day but um I had Friday night scrapbooking I took my daughter Christy and I, we went, we snuck just her and I, and we went out for breakfast. And then this day, oh, this day I was in the shed and I was cutting wood and stuff for my daughter. She's getting married in August and she wanted me to make her some centerpieces for all the tables. So I was out there cutting wood. So that's what I did. And it was actually nice that day. It was 11. Mind you, it was a little chilly, but it wasn't too, too bad. And this day, look at... 17,000 steps like yay go Tracy so this day here is okay this is the one I was thinking of earlier a skill to master so this is one of maybe both of these are Paula's prompts and like I said I was behind so I'm like perfect they'll use her prompts on these days so it says a skill to master and I wrote I call myself Jill of all trades expert in none which perfectly describes me I love and have a passion for all things creative I love to learn new things and figure out how to do or create things on my own I have a passion for writing scrapbooking paper crafting woodworking knitting crocheting cross stitch sewing and organizing that is all creative I do envy anyone who can master one skill. I know if I put my mind to it and focus, I could master anything I want. But there is just so many fun, beautiful, and creative projects and crafts out there that I want to try. I can't limit myself to just one or two. So that was one of Paula's prompts. And I'm pretty sure this is another one of Paula's prompts. And it's, um, let me see. Yeah, I don't think it has anything too personal in here. So um, self-care and it, she wrote, how do you take care of yourself and what do you do to help yourself um, during a challenging time? So I wrote, I have a few challenging health issues. When I was younger, I just pushed through them. I didn't want to look weak, so I didn't want anyone to know what was wrong or how I was feeling. Nothing stopped me no matter how I was feeling. I didn't want pity. But as I have grown older, I take time for myself. If I'm not feeling up to par, I will sometimes cancel plans, but that still doesn't happen that often. I try to walk every day, get my rest when I feel I need it, and I am still working on the healthy eating, but chocolate just tastes so good. <laughs> so that is, yeah, I don't know. A, I don't know a lot of people that have the same issues as me, but... Um, one of my issues, I never even told my family until um, I had children, actually. So, yeah, I was, I guess I was a pretty private person. And I love my husband for for um, respecting my wishes and not, not saying anything to anybody. But anyway, um, I love color. I think I just did this one on my own. I don't think this was a prompt. But I colored this up with my new um, colored pencils, the watercolor pencils. And I was going to put it on a card, and then I ended up taking it off, because I'm like, no, that's really pretty. I want to look at it all the time, instead of giving it away. <laughs> so, I know, eh? Selfish. So, um, I just put it in here, and I just wrote, I love color, and I wrote, I love color, and I love to color. This art block with the hearts colored with my new watercolor pencils. I love that the colors are so vibrant and when dry they are permanent. I also love my Copic markers. I love how well they blend and the vast amount of colors there are. Just looking at them makes me happy. I love colors, coloring, and color mediums so much that I have a color cart dedicated to all my color mediums. I have my Copics colored pencils, gelatos, colored sprays, sharpie markers, and other coloring mediums in there. I can just wheel it wherever I want and color away. So yeah, that's that day. And this day is Friday night scrapbooking, I think. No, we didn't have Friday night scrapbooking because the crop was the next day. So I knew everybody was going to be at home um, uh, packing up. So let me see. I don't know if I showed you the rest of these things. Yeah, these are just stickers. Sorry about that. Got into talking. But yeah, these are just stickers. Like, Aren't these like psychedelic? So yeah, they're stickers. I just stuck those on there. And then I drew and painted the little... Um, 
uh, stems and that. These are stickers and I just filled these ones up with hearts because it's supposed to be self-care. And this one I, I uh, stamped create because it was um, talking about a skill to master. This was the watercolor pencils and then this was um, just another sticker. I think I'm almost used all those little guys up. Oh, I have to fill this one in and I printed up the picture. I'll be right back. See, when I think I'm all prepared and look what happens. But anyway, this again is just printed on um, photocopy paper, not photography paper, but just photocopy paper. And it's a picture of my friends and I when we were at that crop for autism. And there I am with the purple pimp hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun, these ladies. Great group of ladies I have. So yeah, this was just talking about the crop, and it was my one friend's birthday who um, doesn't like too much attention drawn to herself, so we all sang her happy birthday and decorated her chair, and she wore a crown all day, and she had a badge, and I made a like a uh, banner thing that she wore around. She loved it, though. Honestly, she really did love it. She says she doesn't like... Um, too much attention she really doesn't but she loved that I'll tell you and then actually she won a, a gift a prize and as she was walking up to the stage everybody sang happy birthday to her I don't know if she liked that too much but uh, the rest of it she, we had a blast anyway and that was that day lots of fun Sunday was just a day and even though it was a 12-hour crop I still got my 10,000 steps in and then my daughter here, my oldest daughter who has her own house, she just wanted to spend the day together, so we did that. She came over and we went, went to the garden shops, and yeah, I just spent the whole day with her. No prompts for these two days. My husband just took the day off work and um, went to my sister-in-law's for her birthday. And then this day here, I just had a migraine, which everybody knows that's not fun. And then I just added some of these stickers here. And then these are the last two days of the month, and I did some drawing. I saw an art page, so much cuter than this, but I like the way that the little mushrooms have little curls on them and that, so I just sketched that. And then this day here, I stamped her, but I drew the mushroom here. Did I call these marshmallows? I don't remember if I called those marshmallows. Mmm, chocolate-covered marshmallows would taste good right now. But they're mushrooms, not marshmallows, if I didn't if I did make that mistake. So I am haven't even started this month. I haven't done the calendar or anything. I have all my days sticker here. And I think I'm going to change the layout a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to add the art journaling um, block or the art block because it's... I think I might just... Um, just have the journaling here and then I can add things to the bottom. Maybe add an art block if I want to. But I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to fill in the days. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to... Yeah, I'll probably fill in the days. I was thinking I wasn't sure if I was going to fill in um, each day. Just in case I had something a lot longer that I wanted to write out. But you know what? I, I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to do the full month. Because it's just so much easier. I don't want to have to go back and stamp again so yeah I'll probably do that but I'm not sure about the art art blocks but um, you'll find out the same time I do because I'll do a little video on that as well so thank you everybody for joining me and um, I know my days are not exciting at all I hope it gives you some inspiration to do some of your journaling and writing so thank you again everybody for watching and I hope you all had a very creative day today bye now Every second there's a second.